Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to apply local group policy settings to a specific user on Windows 10. So this should be a pretty straightforward process here, and this will apply for those running Windows 10 Professional, Enterprise, and Education Editions. So this should be pretty straightforward, and we're going to go jump into it by opening up the Start menu. Just off one start button one time. Type in MMC. Your best match should come back with MMC. You want to right click on that and then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on Yes. Now you want to left click on the File tab up in the top left. Left click on where it says Add slash Remove Snap In. On the left side here, left click where it says Group Policy Object, and then left click on the Add button. Left click on the Browse, and left click on Users. At this point, you're going to enter in whatever user you want to apply this item to. So let's just say we're going to apply it to non-administrators, but if you have a specific account name, I'd suggest selecting it at this point. Left click on OK. Once you're done with that, go ahead and left click on Finish. Left click on OK again. Now you want to go left click on the File tab back up in the console window. Left click on Save As. Now you want to save it wherever you want. Usually probably the desktop is going to be a convenient location for us here. You can name the file name whatever you want. Usually if you want to name it for whoever it applies to, so whatever user account, you can name it here too. So we're just going to call User Account for standard user and just make sure .msc is on the end of the file name should already be there so go ahead and left click on save now you will be able to go ahead and modify the policy for the specific user as you can see on top of the console window here it says the name of it so user account for standard user again this would be for whatever account that you selected earlier and if you hover over you can see local computer slash non-administrators policy that's the account that I selected, but if you had a specific user in which you're probably on this tutorial about, that would just be a placeholder for whatever your user account name that you're looking to apply these privileges for. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.